Virginia has among the highest percentages of senior citizens of any state in the country, but now there is trouble looming for a program that many seniors rely on for food. Hey, Mark. Good morning, Senator. He's a U.S. Senator, he was the governor, and now he has a new title. Joe Manchin, Meals on Wheels delivery driver. We took an exclusive ride with Manchin Friday morning as he delivered meals to the homebound in Lincoln County. The problem, delivery vehicles like this are falling apart and need replacement. I know the importance of being independent, living by yourself if you, if you want to, and having some support to do that. It's a better quality of life. It shows the respect and dignity every senior should have and let them make the choice. So this is what we're doing. These trucks are 10 years old now. And she lives with her daughter. Our travels took us through the country roads of Hamlin. Hey! Delivering food to several homes. Right now there's a bill before the U.S. Senate that would provide $60 million a year to fix or replace trucks that are used in these senior citizen meal delivery services. They're still going to get nutritional meals. Right. Among our stops was to feed Gary Tabor, a Vietnam veteran who is exposed to Agent Orange and has breathing problems. To him, the meal deliveries are a godsend. It really means a lot to me. Uh, it helps me provide, uh, when I'm here by myself or something, I can get it myself and put it in the microwave and good to go, you know, and I can't get around a gas stove with oxygen to cook for myself. But it really means a lot to me. It's, it's what keeps me going. The Senior Center in Hamlin prepares the meals for those who can visit in person as well as for those who are homebound and get deliveries. These Meals on Wheels grants are designed to go to states like West Virginia, which has a high percentage of senior citizens who are currently living in poverty.